So, there's a pre-recorded video of a run I did last Thursday. And um, it's, it's, this is the first run that uses cutscene storage. Uh, it's not gonna start just yet, it's gonna start in a moment, I think. Unless I'm going to reset again, we'll see. Because I don't remember. This is the entire video, it's not edited or anything. It might just reset again, yeah, there you go. So, okay, I'm resetting splits, it seems. There you go. It's gonna start in a moment. Now I think it's the moment. There you go. So, um, so this is the first any percent run I finish with cutscene storage. Uh, cutscene storage is a very broken glitch that was discovered a while ago for this game. Uh, it opens the door for skipping chapters and warping to different places in the game. Basically that. At the price of having to watch a cutscene several times and like losing minutes just to watching cutscenes because you you gotta hit a specific frame but the beginning of the cutscene is very similar it's actually the exact same of any percent so just run into Alex one go for the clock here and then we want go into Pius. Uh, some spoilers, I had a kind of sloppy Pius. Wasn't the best. I guess I, a I was a little bit out of practice. And yeah, uh, probably some people already watched the time of this run, the final time. Because uh, I posted some spoilers on my Twitter. Could not see beyond. But for the ones that hadn't seen it yet, um, I can just tell you that this is at least 10 minutes faster than the normal any percent, like the war record. But that being said, this is a different category. We decided to split categories because this it, it's not about this being too broken, because it is. It's more about, at least for me, about the category, the game just, the category is really different. Like you, you just waste a lot of time doing nothing on this category, technically. And it makes it not that fun to run. And you can argue that it takes less skill, but that's always complicated. Because you still have to hit like 10 frame perfect tricks. It's just, it's different. <laughs> They're just very different categories. So we decided to split it. So everything just normal here in Pius. Just to give an introduction to cutscene storage, we're gonna have some... The dogs on the background are a sanity effect, by the way, don't worry about them. Um, so, for cutscene storage, we have to hit a frame, which is... It's a specific frame in the middle of a transition of a cutscene that we can see from the pause menu. And that, let's say that storages <laughs> some kind of state in the game that makes the game do weird shit on the next cutscene you see. And we can just watch more cutscenes from the cinematic menu. So yeah, not the most clean pies. It was an okay pies. It, it was like a this is a good time for a Japanese bias, but this is not in Japanese, I did this on US. 
because I think this is actually faster on, U on US just because the amount of cutscenes you see. Although those are not pre-rendered, so it might be around the same. The thing is, you don't do a lot of things that are faster in Japanese on this road. Because you skip I cannot say what a lot of things. No, so here we're going to Elia. I pause, I go to the cutscenes, and I scroll down. And you want to scroll down here using the D-pad most of the time. Because the D-pad allows you to skip you all the cutscenes from a chapter. And then for individual chapters, for individual cutscenes, in the same chapter, you should use the the control stick. So we see this cutscene. There's a frame here. It's a very important frame when this uh, light thing is on the fifth step. You press start there. And then, if you see the next cutscene, the next pre-rendered cutscene, you might... Maybe you, you got the trick. You don't know. You know you don't know until this point. When you hear uh when you go to, to this cutscene on Pius, you're gonna hear a double press of the cutscene. If you hear the double press, you get it. If you don't hear it, you don't get it. You have to cancel that cutscene and try it again. This time I got it first time. <laughs> uh that was pretty good. <laughs> It was like the main reason why I finished this run because I, I wanted to have um, a first try Ellie at least. I got other runs but I reset them. So you can already see how much time that saves. That's basically skipping the whole Elia and that's as good as it can be because it's first try uh, cutscene storage on Elia. And yeah, I basically I did this. I decided to do this with my normal any percent splits just to show off the destructive power of this thing because it's, it's really strong. Like just just look at that split. It's it's ridiculous. Devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. So now we're going to Anthony. And Anthony can be played on can be played on two ways on on this run. You basically have two options. You can play a normal Anthony, uh, which I did on this cutscene. Spoilers. You're gonna see just a normal Anthony, or you can skip Anthony. Uh, skipping Anthony saves, I think, a minute and a half. Maybe up to two minutes, if you get a first try. Um, so it's not that worth compared to other chapters. It's still pretty cool, but it's not necessary at all. And again, you, if you don't get it first time, and you don't get it like fifth time, you are kind of losing time at some point. So that, that's... Skipping Anthony is for the optimal, if you, if you want to do an optimal version of this, or for the TIS too. And in that case, what you want to get, um, what you want to do on Anthony, you don't want to skip it immediately, because then you cannot beat the game. You want to get Antrobok here, then Magormor on the next zombie. You want to break the urn, so you get Chaturga. And you want to get mix. Those are the four. Uh, well, and you also need the the three power, circular power. Those five things are important to get on Anthony. If you don't get mix here, you cannot mix mix items later, and that's really bad. And of course, you just need all the runes. The only rune that can be skipped. Spargan. Um, like it can be skipped without crashing the game. But we still use Spargan on this run. That's just for other purposes. 
if you want to skip Hargan. So here, usual Anthony is burning the carpet using the urn while we wait for the carpet. Then getting to this corner. I take that fire in a particular direction so it gets out of the way. And we can go here, get hit, make something, use the door. And then do an enchant. Right before the cutscene starts. So we do the enchant, we, we finish the enchant inside the cutscene and then we are able to move in the cutscene. Killing that guy is just for fun. It's not necessary. And then you just skip that door. So you have come to return. Yeah, quick fight against the bishop. It's cutting the hands. And from there you just had to leave. Uh, an optional thing you can do, you can skip the the chapter from here if you want. Like if you want, if you're not safe that you're gonna get it first time, the cuts in storage. There's an alternative method here. Once you get the key, though that one doesn't save time. Like I mean, that one almost doesn't save time. But in case you want to show off and you don't want to scroll too much on the menu, you can do it. Because in Anthony, when you get to cutscene storage, you can unpause and get a B-prom of Charlie Monk's door. So you can use the key everywhere and beat the chapter. Uh, most chapters, when you unpause out of a cutscene storage, you're gonna crash. Or reset the game, in the case of Alex. <laughs> So this part is a horror skip, but it's kind of embarrassing because I didn't got it. <laughs> so it's kind of a big time loss from both uh, doing the horror and uh, just the fail setup. But yeah, you can use a, a text, uh, there's a text bubble that you can pop out right after you go through the trigger of that cutscene, of the horror, and you are able to bypass the trigger that way. Then that spell right there was to skip a, a, like a possible tidy effect, because I didn't saw anything in the pause, or nor a sanity, a soft sanity effect, so that might have been a sanity effect there. You can just do a cancel, um, a no magic message, no, no, um, spell cancel, right before the next room, and that way you would always prevent sanity effects. So now we have re repair or enchant item. So we can go to the second floor. There's actually another way to get to the second floor using Ghost in Storage. But we don't use that right now. And then we go into Kareem. Dreams. Modern psychology of. So Karim is another chapter that um, can be done normally or can be partially skipped. Uh, by the way, you can also do like for, for for this category. There is several 
chapters that you can start skipping, you know? Like, you don't have to jump into this category by using all the optimal uh, cutscene storages. You can start just adding some of them. Like, you can play a normal any percent, but you just skip Roberto, let's say, which is one of the longest chapters. And that alone will save you, like, seven minutes. Um, so that's an option if you want to do that. So, there's like different chapters that save more or less time. This is one of the chapters that doesn't save a lot of time, just like Anthony. It saves more than Anthony though, it's like... I think it's like 2 minutes 40? Or 2 minutes? Don't totally remember. But it's still on the low side. Like the low time save if you want. Like five tries of cutscene storage will get you behind, you know? And if you want to do that, what you gotta do is you gotta skip the chapter as soon as you get Uyaoth or the Fate rune. You know, like after the Ramdao fight, you get the rune and you skip the, the, the chapter immediately. Oh, also here, I was super scared because I got first try Elia, but I could crash here. <laughs> so, I was planning on playing safe if this wasn't a good fight, but everything was very clean before the horror, so I just went for it. As you can see, there is the sanity effect, so... If the timer expires before the transition and you get a bad sanity effect, that's a scratch. No cinematic skip. <laughs> we still can't figure out that. But there's a way to completely avoid that cutscene right there. That's a recovery there inside the cutscene, so it saves time. Those ones are not that hard, those are like six frames. And then just kill everything and watch a cutscene. And from here, I'm already on this cutscene because I watched it last time, and I didn't do it there. But I'm gonna do it on the next pauses. On all the pauses, I should be scrolling down. So I can get closer to Dark Servants. So, like this. From Yo, Bakuman. How are you doing? That the endeavor... Thank you for the good luck. So now run down. Some scroll down. Just normal Kareem stuff. I fucked up that recovery. <laughs> but it's alright. We still need to get rid of the magic, so it doesn't really matter. So with the no ma magic message there, you can move in this cutscene using a pause. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention. We gotta get enchantment on the run now. So just, if you want to skip this chapter, you should do it here. You know, on the previous pause. Without watching a cutscene, you just go at immediately for Dark Servants. But I, I'm not doing that on this run. And here's something interesting. So there is a sanity effect here. This is not very usual. I think what happened here, because normally... If you're optimal, which I kind of was on the previous, on the Randall fight, what should happen is that the the, the timer for side effects should, should be activated in the Randall fight and you can't see effects there, so you should be alright. Now, what I think it happened is 
I got a TV shut down as a sanity effect before. And I'm almost sure that one resets the time here immediately. Like, I think that one doesn't give you a free minute of no sanity effects. Because you, you just should never see a sanity effect there if you play good. But I guess you can if that's with some effects that reset the timer immediately. I'm not entirely sure though, it's just a little theory, because I don't remember which ones do that. So is it this is the new barrier fight? So I kill all those fuggers with chagrams. Then do the same for these two. the blue fuggers and if your timing is good here it's a little bit of energy but uh, these fuggers can explode here immediately but I think they sunk one more time yeah that's a third sunk uh, so that's a little bit of time loss but it's kind of RNG you can adjust that I try to adjust that with the Chagrams death but a little mistake there I need a normal cutscene the ancient not a pre-render incredible From... just because I was scrolling down but it's all right so then here we got the the horror immediately after that wave and that, that makes things faster for this fight because the horror is the only thing that matters for the artifact to appear the ancient's influence was incredible. And here I'm gonna use the pre-render cutscene. Because I need it here so I can move in the cutscene. And where I am? There I am. Okay. Curry. You can actually press that thing immediately as soon as you get inside the trigger. You don't even need to wait for the camera. Like the trigger is right there. As soon as the cutscene starts. You just need to get inside the trigger. And you can't start in the trigger, because otherwise it doesn't activate. So, so far, looking just like an any percent run. Except for Elia. I will not oh yeah, by the way, you see, like, by the I edition. only lose about 7 to 8 seconds on the previous part. Even while I got a sanity effect. And that's because of the new barrier fight. Saves a bunch of times, like seven seconds, I think. It's pretty good because the um, tiny creatures must be like 12 seconds time loss, I guess. Lost some frames there, I think. A little bit. It's alright. I got a low cut recording of this. I'm gonna upload it in HD to YouTube later. Because I can't just rely on Twitch. So, bad angle for the horror. Now, when I see a bad angle, I just kill it. I don't care. I usually lose more time if I try to adjust a bad angle than to find out that it just won't work. It's a very good trapper. And well, Max is one of the chapters that, just like the two 
other chapters that we pass, Anthony and Grim, you can actually skip it from a certain point. But that one, this one, it's it's kind of TIS like because even if you got it first try, you're not gonna save a lot of time. Like maybe 20 seconds, 10 seconds at most. Compared to a like a, a perfect chapter. Like very good RNG on the Guardian and the, all that. So in general, for RTA, I would say like Anthony and Kareem are worth it, but this one is not worth it to go for cutscene storage. You should really just play a normal max, unless unless you want to like style, but you shouldn't do it. Because in storage is really not forgiving. You can either get it first try or like after 20 times. So here we're gonna kill the next zombie to get a rune and get a transition at the same time to skip the death animation. Right there, we got the rune. Then I waste some magic there. And that's because I wanna do a spell in this barrier, but I failed it. Because <laughs> that one is tight. It's frame perfect. So if you fail it, you just um, reload your weapon after that. If you get it, you can reload your weapon in the barrier. Using a no magic message. And then pausing. So I don't quite remember uh, this fight. Whether it was good or not. Let's see. So I got both hits before a spell. And yeah, it's like average time for teleport. This is like an average battle. Maybe a little bit above average. So that one second there was probably either just movement or maybe I got one trick, one extra trick. And here, <laughs> I did a recovery uh, because I already have explosion. I I tested on, on Kareem and I was pretty freaked out because I, I was very sure that I had the recovery. But then I just remember this is just because I'm I'm a little bit out of practice. You are not below 50% here, 50% sanity, so explosion actually doesn't activate yet. To skip that one, you have to do um, you have to cancel a spell. You can't just do you cannot just do recovery. It doesn't work after max. So we have to see the, the sequel, whatever. We're not gonna see it again at least. And here's Lindsay. I was pretty slow on Lindsay. I'm like, I'm struggling with Lindsay in general. Just having a hard time with this chapter.
The good thing was I had three minutes to spare. <laughs> but anyways. So the first thing you're gonna notice is I'm not going for bronze skip. <laughs> yeah. Bronze door skip. No thanks. Not this time. I just figured like Let's just get a run going. I don't want to feel bad or, or I don't want to feel anything about Bronze Clip. So I just decided to don't do it. And on these splits right here, these are from my normal any percent PV. Those splits don't have Bronze Skip. Like, I hadn't finished a run with Bronze Skip yet. Hadn't even got a run with Bronze Skip. <laughs> Let alone finish it. Now, I just remember that I, I didn't do that too. <laughs> so that's a, some more time loss. That's uh, getting damage fuel. And that's for Silver Escape, which is something we're going to do, because that one is way easier. And he actually saves more time. So it's coming here. Do a damage field there. You get grabbed, and then the zombie pushes you into the wall and then you walk into the loading zone and okay so here right here I didn't do it on this run because I just wanted to finish this run at this point and I was uh, planning on do more cutscene search uh, after on other chapters but there's a possibility of doing a cutscene search here I might do it if I do another run of this at some point um, and what you do is you do it after our attack. You get our attack right there. And then you teleport to Mantorok. So you go to you watch in the hands of Kali, which is another cutscene of this chapter. And that teleports you into Mantorok, which is the end of this chapter. But like it's not quite finished. It's like one room before the end. So from there, you can backtrack a little bit until you get tier, which is the next rune. The only thing we are missing here. So you backtrack a little bit, you get tier, and then you finish normally. Oh yeah, and I got this by the way. It's pretty, pretty neat. You can enchant item there, and then you can do two recoveries. One of the coolest uh, tricks in my opinion. So that's an alternative for this category, and that that can save a lot of time. It can be like three to four minutes, I think. Don't remember exactly how much. Like, it's not that much. Like, it's still one of the low ones, I think. But it, that's why I didn't implement it on this first run that I got. There I was kind of hesitant about that recovery because I wasn't sure I was over 50%, <laughs> but I just went for it. <laughs> Otherwise that's an explosion and that's... That's the end. I mean, it's not the end, but it sucks. It's just pretty bad. So you see, all this section, you can avoid all this section by teleporting to Mantorog if you want. This isn't really happening. So from here I have low sanity, so I need to start doing sneak patterns. We are cancel a spell here. That's to avoid um, upside down room. 
because otherwise you just lose like 30 seconds on the upside down room. It sucks. More sneaking patterns. And yeah, I don't I don't need to worry about health here because I got the recoveries on the button with the enchanting cutscene. If you get that, you're never gonna run out of health. But if you don't get that, you can actually run out of health here. And you might want to kill some zombies. This is pretty slow, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I got pretty slow here, but it's, it's fine. Alright, so what happened there, on this road, I want to assign Celtapool and Trapper. I forgot Trapper. I also need to assign that, I totally forgot that. So I don't assign Chaturgapool, I just cast it. So on that little scroll trick, you have to go back to Chaturga to cast the Chaturgapool. You can't just spam for the Celta one. And yeah, so just some assignments that I didn't quite remember at that point. Because I'm not used to this road. And yeah, that Chaturga Dispel that I just assigned there. I wonder what is that for? That's some spoilers there. So this is the cutscene where you can teleport, by the way. You can teleport to that cutscene. So you, you can backtrack a little bit to get tier the last rune, and then you just finish normally. So, a lot of time lost there, and it was only like a sloppy play, because General Lindsay was good, I even got the, the thing on the, on the button, but what was bad on Lindsay was just bad assignments here and there and stuff like that. It kind of tells you the amount of time you can lose from just assignments. It's kind of crazy. Oh, and here. <laughs> okay. So, you just saw me running there, right? Uh, not free that was my mistake. <laughs> until you complete a task for me. Because here, you what I want to do is I want to teleport master of this house. into the second do floor. Thing, and you will be I totally forgot it at that point. <laughs> fear the wrath of Chaturka. So we're, what we're gonna do here is we're going to do a network skip. This is the new network skip. Using cuts in storage. So I failed that one. So we gotta do it again. You are not free to leave this place so there's two ways to fail this trick. Basically, or make it three. But basically you can hit one frame earlier, or let's say frames earlier, or frames late. If you hit, if you have frames earlier, you won't see the next pre-render cutscene, so you know immediately that you fail. So that's kind of cool. That's what happened just there. But if you see this pre-render cutscene, you actually don't know if you get it or not. And the only way to know is watching another cutscene. And I got it here on the second try. So you're gonna watch this cutscene two times, because the first one teleports Alex to the here. And then you see the actual one. And that said, we're skip using cutscene storage. So without a zombie. <laughs> that was me trying to to be stylish. It it was it wasn't a good decision. Let's just forget about that. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So, I press pause. I was matching A because I wanna uh, use the the page immediately. But I forgot that I was on the other page. And something that happens with cutscene storage is that 
after you teleport, when you go back to this page right here, um, you are not you're gonna have like leave this plane uh, you you're gonna be on the cinematic menu immediately. You are so, like one A press will source. give you a cutscene. Normally, you have to do two A presses be free. because you are in like the I think it's the notes. No, journal menu, and then you press the cinematic me cinematic menu. But that gets buffered after a cutscene storage. You so I failed that one. Because here I'm, I'm trying to attempt cutscene storage again. That was an early one, so I know immediately that I failed. The master of this house. Do this one thing. So if you get an, an early frame, Else you're gonna lose like three seconds, uh, thirty seconds. Which is the 30 seconds of watching this cutscene. If you get a late one, you're gonna lose more time because you have to scroll up to the desired cutscene and see if you got it. So here we're going chapter seven. Uh, heresy reveal. And I got it. You are a clever man. And what this does is it gives you a B prompt storage of the dead custodian so you can just press that it activates the cutscene and teleports you here to pretty much the end of the chapter and there's a better strat for this part to avoid the bounties i have no weapons by the way remember that uh, i practiced the new strat today but at that point thurs uh, past thursday i didn't i didn't remember the strat actually So I can just get here. You cannot get in that door, but you can you can get out of that door. And we're gonna backtrack a little bit on Paul until this room. This is the Pargon room. So some manipulation of the enemies there. So they kill themselves. One of the friends kills the other, and that gives you the Pargon. Uh, this makes Oyauth kind of suitable because killing any of the zombies will give you Pargon. On other fates, you have to kill the actual zombie. And that's it for Paul. I need to split there, there you go. That's Paul. That saves a ton of time, it's crazy. Uh, I think that one, the one on Paul, might be the one that saves the most. I think it's like 9 minutes. And the rest there is probably from, from the other cutscene storage. Because the thing is, like, I mean, it, it comes with a price because if you skip Paul that way, uh, what we're doing here is we're skipping the five power circle. So basically, we cannot do zombie. That means we cannot do Roberto normally, and we cannot skip Edward Much normally. Has been written about the exploits of so if you want to go for the Paul teleport, that means you gotta do uh, you gotta skip Roberto. And you gotta teleport to Edward. So it comes with a price, even while it's, it's the one that alone saves the most time. You cannot do it alone. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one. Yeah, I hope you like this cutscene. Cause it's gonna be most of the of the of the run. So, I might have got it, because we saw the pre-render part. So you gotta scroll all the way up to Shadow of Corruption. And we hear the double prompt of watching cutscene. That means you got it. So I got it first right. That was pretty, pretty good. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe it at that point.
like the run before this, I got like 20 tries on Elia <laughs> to skip Elia. <laughs> 20 tries without getting it. <laughs> That's how ridiculous this trick is, because sometimes you're just not hitting the frame over and over. And yeah, you see Roberto saves, it says eight, 8 minutes there, but that's partially because the Roberto split on my normal run has error skip on it. So Roberto re in reality saves about 7 minutes if you get a first try. And I think it's the one skip, among with Michael maybe, that you can implement. If you want to go for just one, like just play a normal 80% and just do one constant storage, Roberto is probably the one you should go for. And if you want to do two, Roberto or Michael. Those two doesn't... It doesn't just save time on those chapters, it saves time on, on other chapters too, because you do less assignments and less spells. So here was just in my magic. I need lower magic on this part because we're doing this with a trapper, not with a zombie. That means my magic is pretty bad for Black Guardian. Oh, but wait a minute. I don't have five spells. I can't do zombie. So that means I'm I'm gonna do a normal Black Guardian, like the old one. But I have no magic for that. What does that mean then? What are we gonna do? Oh, I didn't. I didn't turn off the lights. It's turning out now. It's all right. This is a special run, it has special properties. And don't worry, we still have some time on with the lights off. Oh, I guess we're doing spells here. Yeah, why not? So, bind, shield, reveal. What else? Dispel, attack, and I guess item. Which, by the way, is not mandatory. But I just figured that out later. So at that point, I didn't quite remember my next assignments. So I said, fuck it, let's just do the other thing. And I do the assignments later. It doesn't matter too much. Until you complete a task for me. So yeah, I'm skipping Peter. And kill the master Some of Peter. Do this one thing the important and part about Peter is getting the seven uh, power circle. That's down. all you need from Peter. And we only need it because there's several seven spells on Alex that we need to get. You so I failed that one. Remember, you, you know that you failed it if you don't see the next cutscene. And kill the master of this house. Do this one thing, and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Chaturk. Yeah, and Peter, just because of the Black Guardian, even with Black Guardian skip, it saves a lot of time. There is a, it's a short chapter, but there is a lot of, like, stuff that has to happen on Black Guardian and all that, and there is some like little cutscenes here and there. And I got it there. Oh, and by the way, something very important. If you... Uh, you see, I'm using... To skip chapters, I'm using Kareem. But that only works if you beat Kareem normally in your playthrough. So you saw uh, before Kareem on Elia, I used Pius. Because that's the other cutscene that works to skip chapters. Uh, if you never beat Karim normally, meaning you use a constant storage to skip Karim, then you always have to use Pius. So that means more scrolling in the menu. Just 
for you to know. So, shotgun. That's some spoilers there. You're gonna find out what those spoilers are at the end of the run. But I know some people I've already figured out what that means. But don't worry, everyone will know. Well, this is another spoiler <laughs> of the same thing. Wherever disaster and death lurk. There is light so now for the last chapter, or previous to last, before Alex, I guess. <laughs> I wanted to save there, <laughs> um, but I couldn't because there's enemies on this room, and there's like enemies on pretty much every room of Michael. And the reason why I wanted to save was because I wasn't 100% sure the next thing would work on console. I know it works on emulator, but I wasn't sure of console, so I kind of wanted to save, just in case. But I went for it anyways. <laughs> like, I thought, fuck it, let's just do it. And this is because Michael, I'm doing a different trick. Just skip it. We're gonna go down, and we're gonna watch the end of Michael. Back to civilization. And first try too. Pretty good. So after you watch this cutscene, only on Michael, you're gonna get a B prompt storage of the last ladder. You saw for a little bit, you there's a B prompt that say climb up, and you can just press B and finish the chapter. <laughs> it's something that only works on Michael. In other chapters, that same cutscene crashes the game. And you see there the amount of time Michael saves. That was a first try, right? I don't remember if it was a first try or second try. I think it was first. So as as most as you can get from Michael. So around six minutes. Maybe a little bit less, considering my Michael split is not perfect. Like, from a perfect Michael, it might be like 20 seconds less, you know, from having the perfect RNG on the horrors. Also, I'm gonna tell it immediately no warm teleport on this run. I kind of wanted to go for it. Just because I have a lot of time to do it, <laughs> and if I f if you failed it, you lose like how much it was? I don't quite remember. I think it was like twenty seconds. It's not that terrible to fail it, but it's probably a little bit more than that. But the thing is, I just can. I thought I got a good road for warm teleport. I tried a little bit, but it actually didn't work that well. <laughs> like I thought it was a good road, but then when I when I when I practiced it, I figured out it was kind of bad. So I still don't have a proper road for warm teleport because it needs to have a road. You can't just go for the thing and expect to win time. Uh, even if you get it, you're gonna lose time if you don't have a proper road. Because you're losing time here somewhere else. So get ready for Alex. Because this is going to be a normal Alex. There's not too much we can do about Alex. Uh, the only thing 
things to get a faster Alex is, like I said before, Worm Teleport. But he's frame perfect, it's pretty hard, also lose 20 seconds. And most important than that, I don't have a road for it yet. The other thing, there is some things that can be skipped on Alex, but that doesn't save time. You can use cutting storage to get rid of some barriers. And there is one thing that you can technically do for Alex, which is you can beat Edward, get to the end of it. So you you activate a flag that is the, the final flag of the chapter of activating all the, the runes. I did a save here, by the way. That's just for safety. Um, I wanted to save at some point. And so there's a flag that activates at the end of Edward when you place all the runes. And that flag is the exact same flag of the finer portal to Pius here on Alex. It's the same, it's the exact same flag. The thing is that when you beat Edward normally, the game resets that flag again. So you turn it off. But if you do Edward normally, but then you does you don't finish it. But you you uh, skip the chapter using a cutscene storage, the flag uh, it's still on and you can use that like you can do that and then go here to Alex and the portal is active now the, the main problem is that Edward is so fucking slow <laughs> it's the longest chapter even longer than Alex end so that on at least on on any percent it doesn't save time on a speed run If there were a way to do a faster Edward, that would work. Though you can use that for low spell. I plan to do that at some point. Because I actually did some tries today. Uh, I reached like. I think I reached like Paul on low spell. But then I got like. Uh, like 12 tries of cutscene storage and, and it was so terrible I just wanted it to stop <laughs> I didn't want the run to have 12 tries in a row of cutscene storage so that's kind of average horrors but definitely slower than my PV on, for the other contrary And yeah, by the way, low spell right now, it's looking pretty good. A little bit boring maybe, but but promising. As it is right now, uh, we can beat the game with only four spells. At the price of starting the game, not from the, let's call it, official point but starting it from an individual level. We start on Edward, we do what I said a couple minutes ago, and then from Edward, individual level, you teleport to the actual game, to so like the beginning of the game, and you start a normal file. So you finish a normal file, but you begin on an individual level, it's kind of weird. Yeah, if you don't allow that and you want to start a normal file, you're gonna get six spells. And then it's still similar. You still have to do Edward at some point to get the flag. And we're basically trading one enchantment on Edward for all these spells you have to do on Alex and other chapters to get the spells on Alex. Because you need a trapper to get level 7 spells.
yeah, I wasn't sure about all the assignments there. Just remember later that I need a recovery. That's more spoilers for the end. Not the best droppers, but not the worst. You can always just run around that. Effects. Yeah, w one of the main problems with Worm Teleport is that it uses so many assignments. There's like, you need a lot of spells to do it. Even while, like, you don't need Bind, because we skip that. But the price of not using Bind, you still need to use Trapper. You need to keep the pool, and you probably want to to have a Celta recovery or any recovery to avoid sanity effects. Or you can do two pools instead, but then you're kind of losing time. I mean, not losing time, but like you kind of want to skip at least one pool. So that just makes it harder to roll properly. So which one is this? It's number seven, I think we are. Yeah, number seven. This is a barrier that can be skipped using cutscene storage but it doesn't save time of course because it's like like setting up cutscene storage is about 50 seconds depending on where you are on the menu <clears throat> watching the cutscene is just 30 but everything depends on where the cursor are is on on the cinematics Like right now, the cursor is on. It's at the end of Michael. Back to civilization. So it's like pretty close to Dark Servants. That means a constant search here would take about 35 seconds, maybe 36. It's not a lot. But that's definitely more time than just casting the Michael attack. It's <laughs> like 4 seconds. <laughs> Shooting the portal there, save some frames. It can be like up to 0 0.3 seconds when you attack on a portal. Just keep the animation of the character walking to the middle of the portal. Just some animation cancel there. To get rid of the nod back and to get my Gladys back. Because I'm on the end. I don't need the revolver anymore. And I like the either being on arm or with the Gladius. So I can do better animation uh, portal cancels. Like that. Also because you can't do infinite portal cancels with a revolver, you're limited to the amount of bullets you have. Once you have no bullets, you can't do a cancel, it just won't work. So now number three, this is the last one.
finally gonna get out of Alex. Or out of Enga. We're still on Alex. Now for lovely number three. Just watch a cutscene. I wasn't sure about Back to Civilization because that one starts kind of starts with a pre-render. That's why I scroll down to Getaway to Destiny. Though I'm not actually sure. If it, if it does, always. Like, that might be just when you play on Michael, when you see it normally. I don't totally remember, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, that, that was a safe save. Just in case, because I wasn't 100% sure that I can avoid a crash here. As you can see, so here's the, here's the spoilers. I'm doing a normal pious fight. That's why I got the shotgun. Why I enchanted? Because you don't even need, you don't even need seven enchant. I could just do a three enchant or enchantless, but I'm not a fan of no enchant. And the reason I use the penny too. But there is a way to skip this fight. I don't do it here. I might implement it when I do this thing again. This madness again someday. But you can just skip this fight using a cutscene storage. So you do you do the cutscene storage and then you watch epilogue. And that just warps the credits. And that means you can you can have any inventory because as soon as you don't see the in inventory page, you won't get a crash. So you just set up on another page before the fight. That was a very bad artifact, by the way. Just took the damage there. <laughs> I really didn't care too much about this fight at this point because I knew it was a successful first run with Cutscene Surge. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I was a little bit mad there because I thought Pius was on a different spot and I didn't react in time. And I forgot to hit Pies there. <laughs> I was just thinking. I'm going for the artifact, but you gotta pick hit Pies before, of course. It's kind of a sloppy fight. And skipping uh, Pius, if you get it first try, I think it's like two minutes. Or one and a half, I don't remember. No, I think it's like two minutes. And that means you have like four tries. Three tries, depending on how you failed it. Like if you failed it uh, on an early frame or on a late frame. Yo, Evil, how are you doing? You reach the end. So I wasn't sure about my position here. The camera was pretty bad. So to avoid teleports of Pius, I just did animation cancels there. So actually, I didn't earn any time from the enchantment. And that's it. So one hour nine. 
29. I was upset a little bit at that Pius fight because it was kind of bad, but I was happy that this was under 1 hour 10. It is finally over, my dear. The Ancients' plans are finished. So, For yeah. Now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. That's any percent cutscene storage. My father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time, and so much to do. Yeah, that's still true. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. Just not enough time to do everything you want. Where emptiness had been, new knowledge now seeped inside. Something happened then. I realized that I was not the only one. That there were many others like me. In other places. <laughs> it's funny how the... the... You see the splits? I save time on all the splits that have a cutscene storage, and I lose time in all the splits that doesn't. <laughs> so, in general, it was kind of sloppy. I was a little bit out of practice, because I was just going for new strats here and there, adjustments to this category. My teacher Turga has obliterated the insanity of Zelotarth. The madness of Zelotarth has overcome. And because on this category, I reset to too many cuts in storage twice, but I don't reset to like I don't know any percent mistakes. Separate and simultaneous. Like the one on on Anthony. That's a safe reset. <laughs> For normal eighty percent. Harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains, slowly dying. Mantarok, keeper, overseer, warden of ancients, chaos, an entity trapped between the veils of reality. Hello, sir. And the enchanted stakes that impale its flesh. Oh, that's pretty good. How how did we miss that? Unable to so much. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it's that difficult to, to get by mistake. Knowing the nature of the ancients, it used its pawns to play them against each other, resulting in them. That's pretty interesting. I, I wonder if there is any uses for that. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb, plotting. Like the best thing would be if. If the game will have properties of both weapons, you know, that'll be the best. <laughs> but pretty good, anyways. I I kind of did some stuff like that at some point with hacking. Um, you know, where I have like the um, it kind of does. That's pretty good. I mean, if you can. If you can, let's say, burn zombies with a gun, that would be pretty good. I'm glad that you bring this uh, right here, because maybe I can take a look at it immediately after the credits. <laughs> well, so this run was pretty good. I was very surprised at the amount of first or second, third try that I got on Cutscene Storage here. I was very happy when I got it. Uh, this was last Thursday, like I said. So basically on, let's say. Um, November 28th. That's when I did the run. So. Um, so yeah, I was pretty happy with it. I, I'm still pretty happy with this. I don't know when I'm gonna do another one. Just because it's gonna be... It's it's complicated to beat this one. 
because there's a lot of luck in this trinket like it's crazy like i said before sometimes you get it first try or second sometimes you hit it you, you have to see the thing 20 times and you still don't get it and watching that thing 20 times is like 15 minutes just awful um so something about this category is at least for me i cannot stream attempts of this category i just cannot because i need to be really close to the screen like i play at normal distance but when i do the cuts in storage i get really 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 close to my t to my tv <laughs> so i can keep the the proper frame <laughs> And I have a setup, actually. I have an RTA setup that help, helps me uh, with this thing. Maybe I can show you. Let's see if I can show you. Just give me one second. I'm gonna move some stuff here. All right. Okay, so that's my TV. So, well, it's reversed. The, the image is reversed. It's mirrored. But basically, these are like strings. You see? And it's a setup I did. I, these are removable. I can take them off if I want. It's very easy. It took me a while, though, to figure out how I want to do it. And this, this cross right here, this is the position where the light has to be on the cutscene. So when the light is here on Dark Servants, you hit pause. <laughs> it's still hard as hell, but it helps so much. Like it really helps. So that was it. Also, I don't know if you, someone ever will run this Conterry ever. <laughs> so this might be the only run of it. <laughs> we'll see.